Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I turned myself into Poppy from the new Trolls World Tour movie. I also used the new Punky Color hairsprays in this. That's what all of this is. So they did a collaboration with Trolls. So it's Punky X Trolls World Tour Collection. So yeah, these are actually really cool. So if you guys wanna hear a little bit about the collection and also my Poppy transformation, then keep watching. Hey guys! <laughs> okay, so I have a wig on right now. Obviously, if you guys watch my videos, you know I don't have blonde hair. Okay, so the idea for this video came yesterday when this arrived at my house. So this is the new Punky Color hairsprays. So they actually did a collaboration with the new Trolls movie. So this is Hit a High Note. And these are all of their temporary hairsprays. So I thought it would be fun to turn myself into Poppy, that is the pink troll. I figure I'll use the pink hairspray from this and spray this wig, and then it looks like she has different colors on this part of her hair. I need to shave my armpits, shouldn't I have done that? Why am I wearing this shirt when I didn't shave my armpits? But she has a few different colors up top here. I haven't done like a talk through YouTube video in such a long time, so I'm kind of like, where do I start with this? So we're just gonna get started before I think too much and not film anything, so let's go. Okay, so for my base, I'm gonna go in with Moon Creations paint. So I'm using magenta and light pink. I've been experimenting a little bit lately with trying to get like completely streak free paint. So I'm actually using an eyeshadow brush for this. Um, I actually don't know what brush this is though, but this is by Morphe. If I find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. But this has really been working out for me. And I've just been using minimal amounts of water so that you can get a fuller coverage with the paint. And also it just helps prevent streaking because you're using less water. So this isn't gonna be one of my like full on cartoon transformations. I figured it would just be cool to do a cosplay version, make her a little glam. All right, so I'm gonna try to go in with this cream paint by Wet n Wild. This is super old, so it might've gone bad already, but we're gonna use it. So I'll show you it real quick. So I'm gonna go in with the non-existent pink that's right over here, cause there's still a little bit on the sides here. So my thought with this is I want to put this on the high points of my face. I don't want to go in with like a, a white because I feel like it would be too stark. Ooh, yeah. So I'm just going super, super light handed with this. Sometimes when you put cream over top of paint, the paint underneath can lift. So you just want to be super delicate. All right, and I'm going to go underneath my eyes here. Don't mind my nails, by the way, if you guys can see them on camera. I took off my acrylics. A lot of them were just falling off throughout time. So I just kept gluing them back on, like naturally, obviously. And by like the 10th time of that happening, I was like, that's it, I'm taking them off. Ooh, the paint's starting to peel up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. But this spot, for some reason on my face, when I'm using paint, it always peels up around this area. I'm just gonna keep tapping and see if I can blend it out. It's not like looking too bad on camera, so I might just leave it, but it's also really annoying me. All right, that's looking a little better. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone so that I don't have any other issues there. I feel like this is the part that most people forget. You always wanna lighten your mustache kind of area because when it looks too dark, it just like, it really brings the face down. But that added step just brings so much lightness to your face, what am I saying? It brings a lot of depth. I love how I try to be so informative for these videos as if you guys are actually doing this at home with me. All right, I'm hitting underneath my eyebrows too, just to lighten this up a bit. I'm gonna just go around the perimeter of my forehead with that darker pink, just to contour. It's almost like a cream contour, if you will. And just to set that cream, I'm going in with the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder. This is just in Translucent. All right, so it might be looking a little patchy right now, but we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna go in with the new, this is the Bretman Rock X Wet n Wild palette. And I'm going with the color Flaming Ho. <laughs> so that's that, um, the true pink in there. I'm just going really lightly into the hollows of my cheeks. So I'm bringing this onto my cheeks as well. Cause she has those really defined cute cheeks and she has some white freckles. So I can't wait to do that. So if you guys been going crazy staying at home, 
I know here on YouTube, we're not really allowed to talk about what's going on or else they demonetize everything like crazy and then they don't even show your videos to your followers. It's like nuts. I've heard so many stories, so I'm trying not to say any words that could even possibly relate to it. But I'm pretty lucky here. I mean, I'm always quarantined for the most part since my job is working from home. My heart goes out to everyone who doesn't have a job right now or got laid off right beforehand or their business closed. It's just such a tough time right now. But I also have been choosing not to talk about it because I feel like everyone's talking about it. So I want this to be an escape for you guys to go where somebody who's not freaking out about it, which obviously you should be taking as many precautions as you can. At the same time, like you really do need to just take a deep breath and just try to relax. Know that you're being as safe as possible, but don't let it rule your life. I get so upset when I see people like fear mongering and it's just, there's, so much that we don't have control over right now, but you have control over your emotions. And if you get stressed out, all that that's doing is lowering your immunity. Stay as safe as possible, but just stay calm. I just love this palette a lot because I'm not someone who really loves going into colors, but this has really made me want to branch out. It's just such like a fun palette. I'm just going underneath my lip here just to make it look a little bit more pouty. It looks a little crazy now, but once you do the lip, it all comes together. Let's see, so for the nose, I guess I'm just gonna do this whole part. Right, I'm also gonna take that same shade into my crease, and I'm going super light on here as well, like I was talking about with the cracking. That can definitely happen in your crease area as well, so be super careful. Every time I put on this blonde wig or any kind of blonde in general, mostly platinum though, I always want to dye my hair blonde. I just feel like the damage would just be too much to come back from, you know? And I've been blue for like five years, guys. So it's a scary thought to not be blue. I feel like that's how I identify myself, which I guess isn't a good thing, but I do really like how I look with blue hair. Okay, so I'm gonna also dip into the color Toucan Play That Game. That's just like the darker red of the palette, just to see if I can deepen this up just a little bit without making it too big of a difference. I like the way that that looked, so I'm also gonna go on my nose with that. All right, so I'm going into, this is the color Nectar by ColourPop. It's a super, super light, icy pink. So I'm just gonna put this on my lid. I don't know if I like how stark that is, so I'm gonna try to blend it in a little bit. All right, I like it a little bit more blended like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. All right, now for my eyebrows, she has like hot pink eyebrows, but I'm wondering if I should just keep mine like a brown, because I don't know what I would do to get them hot pink. You no, know I think I might try to go in with this one first. So this is Maya by Ofra. So this is obviously a lip liner. And this is in a red shade as well, but it looks like it's more on the pinker tone. Okay, this can definitely work. Let me just sharpen it. So I'm just rounding out the tops of my brows. To give myself more of like a friendly brow. We don't know her. All right, it's looking cute. Now we're just gonna do the other one. Why do I feel like Kylie Jenner is a troll doll? Maybe it's just the hair. I'm gonna dip back into that icy pink shade and just clean up my brows. I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this on tip of my nose and my inner corners. All right, now for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with, this is the Rimmel London Wonder Ink and this is in, I guess it's just black. But I'm gonna do kind of like a thick wing with this guy. Let me see if I can match this eye real quick. And if I can't, and this wing winds up going really blocky, then I can even them out. But I need to see where we're at before I can do that. Okay, so here's the other eye. So I obviously got a lot of work to do on this one. I'm going in with a really thin brush and just going underneath my eyes here. This is just gonna round out your eye a little bit. All right, so for lip liner, I'm gonna go back in with that Ofra lip liner. And obviously the troll doll doesn't have lips, but we're improvising. Now I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London Lock and Shine.
I just noticed I never painted my ears pink. So let's do that real quick. I don't even have this like wig laid or anything so you can see my hair kind of underneath. But I think once we spray it, you won't even notice. Now for the freckles, I'm gonna go in with the NYX White Liquid Liner. This looks like a hot mess. For lashes, I'm gonna use this janky pair that I cut a while ago. This is what it looks like. It's really chunky. Just gonna pop these guys on. All right guys, now we're finally going into the hair dye. So if we're going color wise, I think we're gonna do pink in poppy. Perfect. So the instructions are shake well, hold about 10 to 18 in inches from hair, apply to dry styled hair. So I was gonna try to figure out a way to hide this part so I didn't get any pink on it cause that's gonna be the different color part. I think I'm gonna wind up dyeing it this color anyway. Let's see. Oh. I'm like scared to get too close cause I need this part. I actually kind of like the highlighting effect that it's giving. It's looking really good. I love this coloring. All right, so if you get too much in one spot, just dab it out. It seems like that buffed it out pretty easily. Okay, so in some pictures of Poppy, all of her hair is pink. And then in this one, it shows her with like blue at the top as well. And it looks like yellow. So I think I'm gonna do that just so that I can show you how the rest of these work. Or not how they work, but how they look on your hair. So this is in the color electric blue. I'm trying so hard not to blend these colors together. Then I'm gonna go in with the color turn up the teal. Ooh, I like that color as well. Just wiping my hands off since these are getting like a little grimy from the color. And this came right off with a makeup wipe, by the way, just in case you're concerned. All right, guys, now we're going in with Sunny Symphony, which is this yellow. I love how pigmented these are. I was considering doing this on like a dark haired wig so that I can show you guys if it's pigmented or not on dark hair as well. But it seems like this is really, really vibrant. I feel like it would still look great on darker hair. And when you brush the hair out, it gets rid of that stiffness that you get from spraying it. Cause it has a very like hairsprayed feel. But like I said, once you brush it out, it's like no big deal. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna go in the orange. So this is in Twangly Tangerine. This looks so cool. Okay, so in the meantime, I did make this little headband here. So like I showed you already on the main picture, it looks like she has something that's almost like that, like a little flower crown. So I just glued these like colored, what would you say these are, like cotton balls to this headband. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna wear this. Should it be like that? The only thing that I haven't figured out is clothes. Like I don't know what I'm gonna wear for an outfit. So it looks like she just has like a bunch of different like tank tops. Let me see if I have like a blue tank top. Give me one second. Okay, so I have a blue button up, which is like perfect for the actual color of her tank top. Or I have this, which I don't even know why I brought this up because I'm not gonna be able to fit this over my head. This would be perfect if I had thought about this beforehand, but I didn't, what's new? All right, I'm gonna pop this on real quick and I'll be back. All right guys, so I have the shirt on and I also painted my arms for this too. But yeah, this is the final look guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hopefully it wasn't too awkward in this talk through. I mean, hopefully you guys liked this video, but I thought it was fun. I really liked doing this look. I mean, this was very spur of the moment. Like, I mean, like all of my looks are, but I just really love this fun, colorful look, especially with the everything that everybody's going through right now. It's just, we all need a little bit of happiness. So hopefully this was a good distraction for you guys. And I hope that everyone's staying safe and I love you guys. If you need anyone to talk to, please reach out. I'm always in my, in my messages on Instagram. So I love you guys. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of these hairsprays if you would wear them. I think I might 
start touching up my hair with this one like in between dyeing because I feel like this is pretty close to my, my other hair color. I'll let you know how that works out. Maybe mine's like a little bit darker than this, but I think it could still work. But yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.